At the end of a long day, most people think a little snack before bed is no big deal. But here's something most people don't realize. While you sleep, your kidneys are still working non-stop, quietly filtering waste from your blood. And the truth is, the wrong bedtime snack can actually push your creatinine levels higher, drop by drop, putting extra stress on those delicate filters. It might look harmless, a bag of chips, a piece of chocolate, maybe some crackers, but for someone with kidney problems, these simple choices can silently trigger swelling, raise blood pressure, and slowly push you closer to dialysis without you even noticing. And B, diabetes. The diagnostic free life is... But don't worry, it's not all bad news, because just as there are foods that damage your kidneys at night, there are also safe, simple snacks that can help your body rest, reduce inflammation, and even keep your creatinine in check while you sleep. And... Here's the part that might surprise you. Some of these kidney-friendly snacks are so ordinary, you've probably walked past them in the grocery store without even thinking twice. In this video, I'm gonna show you three safe bedtime snacks you can enjoy with confidence, and three you need to avoid at all costs if you wanna protect your kidneys. Stay with me. Because the last safe snack on this list might completely change the way you end your day. Three safe bedtime snacks for people with high creatinine. 1. Unsalted Brown Rice Cakes Unsalted brown rice cakes may not look exciting, but when it comes to protecting your kidneys, that's exactly the point. Your kidneys are already working day and night to filter waste from your blood, and when creatinine levels are high, they are under even more pressure. The last thing you want to do is make their job harder with heavy, salty, or processed snacks late at night. That's why plain, unsalted brown rice cakes are such a smart choice but so they're light, gentle, and very easy to digest. Think of them as giving your body fuel without loading it with toxins. Unlike sugary cookies or fried snacks that create more waste products your kidneys must filter, brown rice cakes give you slow-burning carbs that keep your blood sugar stable and your stomach comfortable through the night. The unsalted part is not just a small detail, it's the most important part. Salt hides in so many foods, and too much sodium directly raises your blood pressure, increases swelling in your legs and ankles, and forces your kidneys to hold on to water they're already struggling to get rid of. Even a few flavored rice cakes can sneak in more sodium than you realize, which may not matter for someone with healthy kidneys, but for someone managing high creatinine, it's like adding extra weight to an already tired runner. That's why keeping it plain is key. And if you're worried they might taste too bland, there are safe ways to add a little flavor without harming your kidneys. A thin layer of low-sodium almond butter, a touch of unsalted cream cheese, or even a few slices of fresh cucumber on top can make them more enjoyable. The goal isn't to make your snack exciting, it's to make it safe, satisfying, and easy on your body while you sleep. Eating something simple like this before bed might seem too small to matter, but these small choices stack up night after night. Choosing an unsalted brown rice cake instead of something salty or greasy can mean less swelling in the morning, more stable blood pressure, and less strain on your kidneys. It's about giving your body kindness and relief at the time it needs it most, when it's trying to rest and repair. And here's the surprising part. Many kidney patients who switch to snacks like this often say they not only feel lighter in the morning, but also sleep better, because their body isn't fighting extra fluid or discomfort while they rest. So, while it may look plain, an unsalted brown rice cake is more than just a snack. It's a small act of care for your kidneys, one that tells your body, I'm on your side. 2. Unsweetened Coconut Yogurt Number 2 on our safe bedtime snack list is unsweetened coconut yogurt. And I know this one might surprise you. Most people hear the word yogurt and immediately think it's healthy across the board. But here's the catch. Traditional dairy-based yogurt is actually a tricky food for people with kidney issues. Regular yogurt is loaded with animal protein, and when your kidneys are already struggling, all that protein breaks down into waste products that your kidneys have to filter out. That extra burden can quietly push creatinine levels higher. On top of that, many store-bought yogurts are pumped full of sugar, sometimes 15 to 20 grams in just a small cup. That's basically like eating a dessert right before bed, and for your kidneys, it's like pouring gasoline on a slow-burning fire. The sugar fuels inflammation, makes blood sugar spike, and can leave your kidneys working overtime while you're trying to rest. That's where unsweetened coconut yogurt comes in as a game changer. 
Unlike dairy yogurt, coconut yogurt is completely plant-based, which means it doesn't overload your body with protein waste. It's naturally low in potassium and phosphorus, two minerals that can build up in the blood when kidneys aren't filtering well. And here's another bonus. Coconut yogurt is one of the rare snacks that not only avoids harming your kidneys, but can actually support them. How? It's packed with probiotics, those good bacteria that take care of your gut. A healthy gut means less toxin buildup in your bloodstream, which means less work for your kidneys at night. Think of it as giving your body an assistant, someone to take out part of the trash so your kidneys don't have to do it all alone. But here's the golden rule. It has to be truly unsweetened. Don't let the labels fool you. A lot of brands slap natural or healthy on the package but hide spoonfuls of sugar inside. Before you drop it in your cart, flip that container over and check the nutrition label. You want zero added sugars, plain flavor, nothing fancy. That way, you get the creamy texture, the probiotics, and the kidney protection without the sugar spike or the hidden dangers. If you want to take it up a notch, you can even add a couple slices of fresh pear or a few blueberries on top for a touch of natural sweetness that won't overwhelm your kidneys. Imagine ending your night with a cool, smooth bowl of coconut yogurt that actually helps your body recover while you sleep. Instead of waking up bloated or stiff, you're giving your kidneys the calm environment they need to catch up on their work. It's a simple swap, but for someone with high creatinine, it can make the difference between pushing your numbers up and giving your body a chance to heal. Your journey matters. If you've been carrying worry for your kidneys or your health, comment with a dot so. I know you're here, walking this path too. Tonight, I'll take a quiet moment to send strength to every dot I see. 3. Low Sodium Peanut Butter Now let's talk about something that might surprise you. Peanut butter. For years, many people with kidney issues have been told to stay away from it completely. And honestly, if we're talking about the regular kind you see on most supermarket shelves, that advice isn't wrong. The typical jar of peanut butter is packed with added salt, sugar, and preservatives, all of which can cause more harm than good when your kidneys are already struggling to filter waste. High sodium pushes up blood pressure, which is one of the fastest ways to damage kidney function. Extra sugar can raise blood sugar levels and lead to more stress on those tiny filters inside your kidneys. But here's the twist. Not all peanut butter is created equal, and if you choose the right kind, it can actually become one of the safest, most satisfying bedtime snacks for someone with high creatinine. The version you want to look for is labeled low sodium or unsalted, and ideally natural, which means the ingredients should be nothing more than peanuts and maybe a little oil. When eaten in moderation, this kind of peanut butter gives you plant-based protein, which is gentler on the kidneys than animal protein, along with healthy fats that keep you feeling full and stop those late-night cravings from pushing you toward dangerous options like chips, crackers, or chocolate bars. What makes peanut butter especially helpful at night is its balance of protein and fat. That combination digests slowly, keeping your blood sugar stable while you sleep and preventing those midnight hunger spikes that can wake you up or tempt you into grabbing unhealthy foods. Another bonus is that peanuts contain antioxidants like resveratrol, which help reduce inflammation, a silent enemy of kidney health. The key, however, is portion size. Peanut butter is calorie dense, so more is not better. In fact, two teaspoons, not tablespoons, is the sweet spot. That small amount gives you all the benefits without overwhelming your body. A simple way to enjoy it is by spreading it on apple slices, which add fiber and a natural sweetness without spiking your blood sugar, or pairing it with a rice cake, which gives you that crunch without loading your system with salt. But this way, you're not just eating a snack, you're making a smart choice that satisfies your taste buds while protecting your kidneys through the night. So, instead of fearing peanut butter altogether, think of it as a tool. When you pick the right type and keep the portions small, it becomes a safe, kidney-friendly option that helps you feel full, calm your cravings, and actually support your body as it works hard to heal while you rest. Three bedtime snacks to avoid for people with high creatinine. 1. Potato chips. Let's talk about potato chips. Because I know for a lot of people, this is the first thing they reach for when they're craving a snack at night. It's quick, it's crunchy, and it feels satisfying in the moment. But here's the truth. If you're dealing with high creatinine, potato chips are one of the absolute worst choices you can make before bed. 
Even a small bag of chips can pack over 400 milligrams of sodium. That's almost a fifth of the daily limit for someone with kidney disease, and you're eating it all in just a few bites, right before your body goes into rest mode. On top of the salt, most chips also contain phosphorus additives. These are not natural forms of phosphorus that you find in healthy foods like beans or nuts. These are chemical preservatives that your body absorbs almost instantly, sending phosphorus levels in your blood skyrocketing. And when phosphorus builds up, it damages your bones, your blood vessels, and forces your kidneys to work harder than ever. This double hit high sodium plus phosphorus is like pouring fuel on a fire that's already burning inside your kidneys. Instead of getting the rest they need at night, your kidneys are forced into overdrive, straining to deal with the extra fluid and toxins. This is why so many kidney patients wake up with puffy eyes, swollen ankles, or that heavy sluggish feeling after a salty snack the night before. Some people think they can cheat the system by choosing baked chips or those labeled low-fat or light, but don't be fooled. The fat might be lower, but the sodium and phosphorus are still hiding inside. Your kidneys don't care if the chip is fried or baked. They care about how much salt and additives are hitting your bloodstream. And the truth is, even just one serving can be enough to tip the balance in the wrong direction. Another hidden danger with chips is that they often trigger cravings for more. Nobody eats just one handful. You sit down with a bag and before you know it, half the bag is gone. That means instead of 400 milligrams of sodium, you've just had 800, maybe even 1,000. By the time you go to bed, your blood pressure is higher, your body is holding onto water, and your kidneys are left struggling all through the night. If you have high creatinine, that's the last thing you want to happen. The scariest part is that the damage doesn't always show up right away. Maybe you feel fine the next morning, but over time, every bag of chips is adding up. Every night you eat them, you're slowly pushing your kidneys closer to more serious problems, like dialysis. That's why I always tell people, it's not about one cheat snack, it's about the pattern you create. If potato chips are part of your nightly routine, your kidneys are paying the price, whether you feel it now or not. 2. Cheese crackers Cheese crackers might look like a harmless snack. They're small, crunchy, and so easy to grab late at night when you're craving something salty. But here's the hidden danger. Every handful of cheese crackers is loaded with sodium, phosphorus, and unhealthy fats. That salty taste you love? It comes from an overload of added salt. And for someone with kidney problems, salt is like throwing gasoline on a fire. It forces your body to hold on to water, which means more swelling in your feet, ankles, and face, and more pressure on your kidneys to keep up. The cheese powder coating those crackers isn't just cheese. It's often a mix of phosphate additives, preservatives, and even nitrates. These are chemicals your kidneys simply cannot filter well, especially if your creatinine is already high. And the scary part is, you won't notice the damage right away. You'll just feel a little thirstier, maybe your rings feel tighter in the morning, or your blood pressure creeps up a bit higher than usual. But night after night, those extra chemicals build up, making your kidneys weaker and pushing creatinine levels even higher. Eating cheese crackers before bed is like handing your kidneys a heavy backpack right before they're supposed to rest. Instead of getting a break overnight, they're forced to work overtime, filtering through all that extra sodium and phosphorus. And over time, this nonstop strain can silently speed up kidney damage. That's why cheese crackers are one of the top snacks to avoid if you want to protect your kidneys. It doesn't mean you can never have a crunchy snack again, it just means you need to be smart about the kind of crunch you choose. Swap them for something safe, like unsalted rice cakes or air-popped popcorn without butter or extra salt. These give you the same satisfying crunch without the hidden phosphorus, without the unhealthy fats, and without forcing your kidneys into overdrive at night. Remember, late-night snacks aren't about filling your stomach. They're about giving your body comfort without extra stress. And when you choose the wrong one, like cheese crackers, you may enjoy the taste for a few minutes, but your kidneys will pay the price all night long. Making this small change could mean waking up with less swelling, more energy, and kidneys that actually get a chance to rest while you sleep. 3. Chocolate Bars Chocolate is often seen as this little piece of happiness, a quick comfort after a long day, something sweet you can reward yourself with before bed. But if you're living with high creatinine or any kind of kidney problem, that simple chocolate bar could actually be one of the most harmful choices you make at night. Here's why. Chocolate is loaded with phosphorus and potassium, two minerals that healthy kidneys can usually handle 
but when your kidneys are struggling, these minerals build up in your blood instead of being filtered out. Too much phosphorus makes your bones weaker and puts stress on your heart. Too much potassium can mess with your heartbeat and even cause dangerous complications. That's already two heavy strikes against chocolate, but it doesn't stop there. Chocolate bars are also packed with sugar and fat. That combination drives up blood sugar levels, encourages weight gain, and increases inflammation, all of which make kidney damage worse over time. For someone with high creatinine, every gram of sugar and fat adds to the burden your kidneys already face. And here's the part most people don't realize. Even dark chocolate, which is often marketed as the healthy option, comes with serious risks. Dark chocolate has higher oxalate levels, which can increase your risk of kidney stones. If you've ever experienced a kidney stone, you know how incredibly painful it can be. And the last thing you want is to add that kind of suffering on top of already struggling kidneys. On top of all this, chocolate contains caffeine. You may not think of chocolate as a stimulant like coffee, but even a small bar has enough caffeine to affect your sleep. And sleep is one of the most important times for your body to repair itself and for your kidneys to rest. So by eating chocolate at night, not only are you loading your body with sugar, fat, potassium, and phosphorus, you're also robbing yourself of the deep, healing sleep your kidneys desperately need. It becomes a double problem, damaging your kidneys directly while also blocking the recovery time they count on. Now, I'm not saying you can never touch chocolate again, but it's important to be very careful, especially at night. If you really crave something sweet before bed, there are safer options we'll talk about that can actually help your body rather than harm it. Think of it this way. Every choice you make before you sleep either adds fuel to the fire or puts it out. Chocolate bars, no matter how tempting, are like throwing gasoline on the fire your kidneys are already fighting. Choosing to avoid them at bedtime is one of the simplest, most powerful ways you can protect your kidneys and keep your creatinine from climbing higher. Your kidneys never stop working. Even when you're sleeping, they're filtering, protecting, and fighting to keep your body in balance. That's why every single snack you choose before bed truly matters. A simple rice cake or a spoonful of coconut yogurt may look small, but to your kidneys, it's a gentle gift that helps them heal through the night. On the other hand, a handful of chips, cheese crackers, or that tempting chocolate bar may feel comforting for a moment, but they quietly force your kidneys to work overtime, leaving them weaker over time. Now you've seen the truth three bedtime snacks that keep your kidneys safe and three you should avoid if you want to protect them for the long run. The next step is yours. Tonight, when you reach for something to eat, remember this choice decides whether your kidneys rest or struggle. Choose wisely because every small choice adds up to a healthier, longer life. And if you want more simple, life-saving food guides for kidney health, don't stop here. Click on the next video, I'll be right there to show you more everyday foods that can either heal or harm your kidneys. Trust me, your future self will thank you.